thank you for exacting my revenge on those Mandalorian beasts. If only I could have been the one to tear out Sharuk's heart. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. I do not know. I am worried for him, truly. But I do not believe Alan Matale had anything to do with it. And now my father may take it out on Shen. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope.
Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? As you wish. I have no quarrel with you. Who are you? What do you want with me? Rescue me. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandral doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Thank you. I wish you luck. What? stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm here. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. What? You're just doing this for the reward? How could you? I thought you... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. No, Father, don't do this. We don't always need to be fighting like this. It's gone too far for that, Rahasia. Alan has crossed the line one too many times. For what you've done to me and my family, I will see you dead and rotting in the ground. Are you mad? They will slaughter each other. No, don't! This... this has all gone horribly wrong somewhere. Arlen, what can we be thinking? How could we have let this go this far? We are at each other's throats now, fighting over our children's lives when they are old enough to live their own. He is my son. How can he disrespect my wishes like this? <gasps> what? No, no. I never did anything to your son. I... I knew you were lying, you dog. I just think I thought it might not have been you. 
so I'll take your son from you! Father, no! Don't do it! Die! Shen! Die! Ah! No! Raisha! I'll kill you! The master has been injured. Terminate all opposition. Destroy the invaders. <laughs> I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Oh, 
The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Or in fact, it could be anything. Our vision was clear. We saw Revan and Malak speaking of the Starforge. I'm certain it is somehow connected to the Sith's sudden rise to power. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy. But they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him... Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his con- We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Yeah. 
I'm here. Let's <laughs> go. 
This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge, and some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun.
Enjoy the time you have here. You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the Order. For this you deserve the highest praise. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. This has been a painful lesson, Juhani, but it seems you have learned it well. I am certain you will be a credit to the Order. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan. You have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. 
We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Starforge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Starforge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Starforge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Starforge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Starforge. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. This was already explained to you. Your command of the Force makes you a threat to Malak. Eventually he will destroy you and all the Jedi, unless you stop him first. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all-too-familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Don't worry, these are simple questions, nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I see you intend to be childish about this. I guess I won't get anywhere continuing our discussion right now, will I? I suppose I'll have to speak to you again later. Hopefully you'll be a little more mature.
아추타 뭔가 군비스돌비 기구 런다 디 허던가 그 제도 봐도 와는 이디보 카치 군 이다 아추타 뭔가 군 제도 봐도 와는 이디보보 동나 뭉샤 누누냐 동부 두카시막 무주샥 바칸 기예 누누 남아 ジーグラトゥロダポグラシオネオコンパチントンモチュバカチコウィイタマンダイヤタトルパダポンゴレガンドトンハイコンジジジョンルンパダコンジュスタミキグラボルモゴ Takomjustach Miki. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before, in the grove. It was wrong of me. I realize you have justification, but that anger only leads to the dark side. Please do not fall into the same trap that caught me. I thought that too, but I was wrong. The dark side is most devious and deceptive. It can find the smallest weakness to exploit. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. It may, but I am prepared to do what it takes. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Yes, what's on your mind? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Listen, sister, I don't remember reading anywhere that it's a requirement that you remain with us after we left Terrace. Yet, here you are. Well, yeah, true enough, I guess, but damn it, I'm tired of nobody telling me anything. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? I'd be more than happy to, but she's as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. I'm hoping you'll be the one to enlighten me. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they... don't they have to train you? Uh, 
That is completely beside the point. The Jedi encouraged you to stay with us, and I don't believe the reasons they gave. Your neophyte Padawan has been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not gonna wait around until I'm betrayed again. Nothing, not yet. I just better hope I don't get a reason to. Look, I didn't mean it that way. I wanna get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing.